Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Let me know if you can hear me all right. I uh, hooked up this mic. This mic that I bought for live streaming at home during the, uh, the pandemic and never ended up using. Well, at least not that much. So hopefully you can hear me all right. Thank you everyone for being here. I'm excited to be with you tonight. I'm, uh, I'm at home, of course. And it's actually quite relaxing, just hanging out here and, uh, and talking to all of you. Steve says, sounds great. Thank you, and thank you to everyone here in the chat tonight. Thanks so much for being here and, uh, and coming hanging out with me tonight. So we had uh, a really cool opportunity earlier today to speak with Disney legend Linda Larkin. And I was, uh, I was so excited to do it, to be able to do a little interview with her and talk to her about DizCon that's coming up this weekend. And uh, I record that. Oh, it's better for me. Better. Everyone says seems better. Awesome. So I had the opportunity to, uh, to interview uh, Disney legend Linda Larkin and excited to be able to share it with you. I, I had to like get it out there and, and share it because I was just so excited to be able to have the opportunity to talk to her. Um, and those of you who may not know, Linda is the original voice of Jasmine from Aladdin. And... Uh, it was kind of surreal when I first started talking to her and I heard the voice and I'm like, oh, it's Jasmine. That's awesome. Um, but again, she's going to be at DizCon this weekend here in Orlando and it's all for Give, Kid the Wor Give Kids the World. So you know me, anything for Give Kids the World, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it and help out when I can. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the interview. Um, I think it's about... 20 minutes long or so. So I'll just go ahead and play it, enjoy it, and uh, and we'll talk a little bit afterwards. So hopefully the stream holds up. So <laughs> hang in there, guys, and, uh, and enjoy the interview. I am so excited to be joined right now by Disney legend, Disney princess, Miss Linda Larkin. Thank you so much for joining me right now. Hi, Corey. How are you? Very good. It's so nice to meet you and to do Very it here, nice to meet here on you. Zoom. <laughs> yes. Yes. Today, we're going to talk about DizCon, an awesome event that's happening this weekend here in Orlando that Linda's going to be a part of. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, Linda, I want to talk a little bit about Jasmine. How could we how could we have a conversation and not talk about Jasmine, one of the most beloved Disney yes. princesses? Um, and the thing that I always find so fascinating is kind of the, the story before it all began, kind of how it began, because there was a time before Jasmine. And I'm always right. interested to hear kind of how all that came to be. So can you talk a little bit about kind of what led to your role as Jasmine? Absolutely. So I, I started as a dancer. That was how I started my career in show business. And I started that when I was very young. And I moved to New York when I was 18. And a dance teacher of mine in New York introduced me to a management company that represented young actors, dancers, singers. And that management company sent me on the audition for Aladdin. Mm. Like I was with them for a long time, for a decade of my youth. And that, that was one of the auditions they sent me on. And it was just, you know, I think one of these projects that I really connected to the story, I connected to the character. I loved doing voiceover work. It was something that mm -hmm. I never even knew was a job. But when I started working with these new managers that were representing me as a dancer, they were also representing me in every area of the arts. So they would send me on auditions for voiceovers, commercials, Broadway, theater, all kinds of things that were new to me mm -hmm. as a young artist, but were exciting for me to explore. Voiceovers were one of my favorite things. And that was my first experience with animation. Oh, it's very cool. That's mm -hmm. that's really, really neat. And it, you know, it's when you when you got the role, 
and you knew that that you were going to to voice Jasmine at that time did you realize like like how big of a deal that was or was it not until afterwards that it kind of like started growing into fit I'm a Disney princess now I definitely did not realize what a big deal it was there there was just no way to know that that mm -hmm. was really the beginning of the renaissance of Disney feature animation mm -hmm. so we had gone decades without having and it's hard for people to understand this now because every year it seems like we've got a new story and a new yeah. princess but like I didn't have any new princesses when I was a kid. I had Cinderella, Snow White, uh, Sleeping Beauty. That's I had so the true. classic Disney princesses from the 50s and 60s. They hadn't introduced any new characters or new stories in all of my childhood. And with The Little Mermaid, they started to bring back Disney feature animation. And we didn't even realize what we were a part of because when we started doing Aladdin, the Little Mermaid had just come out, but it could have been just a anomaly, a one-off. Mm -hmm. Beauty and the Beast was being made, but hadn't come out yet. Once that came out in theaters and we saw, you know, what we were a part of, mm -hmm. we had a good idea that it was going to be well-received. And I assume it changed your life. Um, from, from that point on, I assume that it kind of like, it kind of molded to everything that happened for your career from that point forward. You know, I think it changed my life in ways that I might not even be aware of because I think many things that happen in your life as an artist are because you had an opportunity over here and then someone saw that and thought you were interesting or, or did a good job and gave you another opportunity over here. Mm -hmm. So I, but you, you don't really know that people don't say, Hey, we called you in for this audition today because we just saw Aladdin. Like they don't really tell you that, but those connections I think are probably real. Absolutely. And I, I think some of us like to think that this exists, but I'll, I'll let you tell us if it's uh, if it's real or not, that there's, mm -hmm. there's this, this special bond between you and the other Disney princesses. Like I imagine oh, that real. I imagine that you all have like a group text and you're just talking all the time, but I, I don't know. You can That's listen. real. Yeah. There, there are several of the princesses are dear, very close friends of mine. Cool. And we've all had some really great experiences together. Even those of us who don't see each other or talk as frequently. Mm -hmm. we had Ralph Breaks the Internet together. So we were able to come together to promote, to celebrate Ralph Breaks the Internet. So yeah. a lot of us were in the same room. That's so cool. For the many months leading up to that. And, you know, it's it's a cool club. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. it's a very, and speaking <laughs> of a cool club, um, you are also honored to be a... Uh, a Disney legend, which is, uh, yes. you know, being a, being a Disney princess is is something to be uh, amazed by. But then to become a Disney legend has to be so special. We've we've had the the honor to be able to speak to a couple other Disney legends um, here over the past couple of years, and and everyone uh, always says how special it is. Like it's it's hard to explain and put into words what it means to walk up on that stage and get that award. But talk a little bit about that. Like when you found out the news that you were going to be a Disney legend. That was a huge honor. It was something that I I really was not expecting. It, it's something I think that um, you, you don't think at that stage in your career because when they inducted five of the princesses, so it was me, Jodie Benson, Paige O'Hara, Anika Noni Rose, and, oh, all at the Leia, same time? and Leia Salonga. Yes, oh, that's all five cool. of us in 2011. So we were, I think we were all really surprised because it wasn't really like the end of our careers and an honor that was being given. And I sort of thought of it as something that was granted to you, like once you retired, mm -hmm. that that became, you know, legendary status might be something that would happen then. So we were none of us expecting it. And it was, it was really I, it was such an 
honor. It was, it was, it's really hard to describe. Like yeah. it came out of the blue. It was, it was something that to be able to celebrate the work that we've all done with our families mm-hmm. and with our friends. And it just really, uh, it was, I'm speechless That's thinking so about awesome. it. That's so I just cool. went to the legend ceremony. I was there. Weeks I was ago. The you were room. there? Yes, I was there. I we was were there. in the same room together. We were. I was probably, you know, 30 <sighs> rows behind you, but I was, <laughs> I oh was my in the gosh. room. Um, and, uh, and it is, it's really special to see um, those come on stage and, and really, you know, get emotional about it, how, how important it is to so many. I love the fact that the Disney Legend Award, there's, there's all these different categories and that we can celebrate you know, those in voice acting, we can also yeah. celebrate those um, who've meant so much in Walt Disney Imagineering. Um, and it's just so right. cool to, to kind of see all of that come together and represent uh, the Walt Disney Company. It's, it's, Absolutely. it's very, very cool. It's any, any person who's had a contribution that it's mm-hmm. made an indelible imprint on the Disney legacy. So these are our people who work on the corporate side, as you said, in Imagineering, Mm -hmm. animators, actors, announcers, uh, hosts, you know, there there are uh, so many people that are honored every year. And I always feel, or every two years, um, I always feel like it's a really balanced group too, that they they try to, to choose people from different fields within the company. And yet, like you said, you were just there this past year. And what I've heard, I don't know all the details of what all is included, but I know you get invited back every year as part of that ceremony to have, is it, is it like a brunch where you get to meet all the new inductees? Yes, we do. We have um, a luncheon after the ceremony. So we have, you know, we are able to be there in the room and watch the acceptance speeches live with everyone else. The room is, what do you think? Like, 5,000 people, Yeah, 5,000, 7,000 people, something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. it's the energy in that room is so exciting. It is. It's just amazing. Um, so we get to experience that with people. And then we have a little Legends luncheon where we can all just be with each other. And it's really, is, it's so really special. great. Very cool. Great. And we have a moment during the ceremony where they acknowledge the people who are there that are past legends recipients. So we can kind of look around and see each other so in that cool. context as well. Yeah, I saw I saw your name up on the list on the, uh, you did? it was like the big two columns of lists of people. I think Jody was there and um, yeah. Tom Nabby, another friend of mine who's a oh, super sweet yeah. guy. So, so many people up on the list. So it's, it's, it's awesome. It's such, a, such an honor and such a cool group to be a part of. Um, Did you talk- enjoy D23? I loved it. I had a great yeah. time. It's always cool to kind of be able to be around other people, who obviously, who are into all the same stuff you're into and, right. uh, and, and find it. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the Disney space a lot and I, I love Disney myself. A lot of my close friends are not as big of Disney fans as I am. Okay. Um, but, my, but my friends through YouTube and then being able to go out to... Uh, to, to an event like that, I get to connect with all those people who are just, you know, as Disney nerdified as I am. It's and wonderful. Together. Yeah. Yes. It's so the energy is so great there. It's just, oh, I love it. And it's so great that then all of you come and kind of bring it all together and give us these really cool experiences, um, mm. these different panels and stuff. And, and kind of speaking of that, the different cool experiences that, that, um, that you can see kind of come visit in person, we've got DizCon coming this weekend. Um, yes. I, you were part of DizCon last year. It wasn't, I don't think it was called DizCon. It was called something else, but. Uh, right, were, but it was you, the inaugural yes. event for the Give Kids the World and fundraiser. Your, and yeah, and yes. so you're a part of that this year too. And um, mm-hmm. I want to make sure we have the dates right here because they changed. We are uh, yes. currently awaiting uh, Hurricane Ian here in uh, Central <sighs> Florida. And so the dates were supposed to be this Friday and Saturday, September 30th and October 1st have now been moved to October 1st and 2nd. And uh, yes. Linda and I were talking just before this that the good news is whenever there is a hurricane that once it moves out, the weather is usually beautiful. So hopefully, fingers Sunny. crossed for yes. a really nice weekend. Um, but you're gonna be there. Can, can you give us a little bit about what people can expect from you uh, if they're attending or they're thinking about attending this weekend? 
So what I've been told is Friday is now Sunday. So whatever was scheduled for Friday is now happening on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So Saturday is as scheduled and what we'll be doing, my participation in it, I will be attending with Jafar, with the awesome. voice of Jafar, Jonathan Freeman. Uh, we're flying together from New York to come down to Orlando and we are hoping that we will be there on Friday and I think it's happening. And then on Saturday, we'll have some hours on the convention floor to meet fans and to sign memorabilia or autographs. 100% um, cool. of the proceeds goes to Give Kids the World. And Saturday night, I believe there's a special event at Epcot Center mm -hmm. for Give Kids the World. We will be attending that as well. So we'll be able to oh, cool. enjoy the food and the rides and the attractions with everyone who attends. And then on Sunday, we'll be doing more signing and we'll also be doing a special luncheon mm -hmm. where we'll be talking with people who are attending the lunch with us. That's very cool. And I, I believe yes. there, there's still tickets available for the convention, but I believe there are still tickets available um, for that luncheon. Um, oh, so, so good. with, with Jonathan and Linda, so it's very cool from what I've heard. It's uh, it's, it's not a huge group and you get to come in, have a luncheon, be able to take pictures. It, it sounds like a really it's fun time. So great. Jonathan and I have done it once before oh, for you? another organization here in New York, and it was a terrific event. So awesome. we're really looking forward to doing it again. And I'm looking forward to meeting everyone who attends it's gonna it's gonna be so much fun you mentioned the party afterwards so i have to yes. ask because this is in epcot and it's gonna be yes. um over with test track and mission space and then the new cosmic rewind have you ridden cosmic rewind yet no and i'm so excited i will be riding cosmic rewind that is I will. so cool <laughs> well i look i look forward to hearing your reaction i will be there so i'm excited to meet you and yes, excited too, to, to talk in person and uh and that's gonna it's gonna be an absolute blast so there is a, um, we'll put the, the link to buy tickets in the description of the video here, but there's right. also a special coupon code right now. It is DISCON50 that Linda just told me about. will save you 50% on your tickets to the convention and on your tickets to the, uh, to the after party event at Epcot. So and it's I know such a wonderful organization. I don't know if yes. your, your viewers are familiar with it, but Give Kids the World, Corey yes. and I both know very well what their mission is and and we the princesses have supported give kids the world's mission for years and it's it's just an incredible place absolutely that's what i wanted to talk about next is give kids the world because they are they're very special to me when i started uh the youtube channel here um, I didn't know uh, that Give Kids World existed and we were doing, you know, all the Disney content and I got introduced to them and uh, absolutely fell in love with everything that they do in their organization. Yes. It's unbelievable. It's, I, I've been exposed to other organizations before that do good work and, and have good people, but there's something very different and very special about Give Kids World. And I've said this many times, it's not just what they do, but it's how they do it and it's the people that are doing it. Um, it, they it really all have their hearts in it. And that's what made me to connect to it so much. And we've done multiple fundraisers here on the channel for Give Kids the World. We did a, a Christmas concert uh, last year uh, where I performed and brought other YouTubers together. And we raised uh, almost $50,000 in two hours. On oh, it was unbelievable. Um, and it was all incredible. It was all the amazing people here that that, uh, that donated and made that such a special night. So I uh, was really, really excited to do that. But I know, like you said, you've been involved with the village and some yes. of the events that you've done have been at the village itself. So right. um, for, for everyone who kind of, they, they know about it, they've, they've seen it, but they've never actually visited in person. Can you talk about how special that place really is once you're actually oh, there? Yes, it's a very whimsical, magical place. You get to that campus, it, you're, you're just transported to a different world. There are cottages, there are apartments where the people that are coming to visit stay. And there are all kinds of like a little train and a merry-go-round and a magic castle where people 
make little stars and put them up on the ceiling. And it's just a beautiful place that children, critically ill children and their families can go and have a week of memories, a week long vacation at no cost to them. And they're in a position to be able to go to all of the parks in Orlando, or they can stay right on campus at Give Kids the World. And it's just a really, really special place where yeah. they celebrate Christmas every week yeah. and they celebrate Halloween every week. And people really get a chance to get away from the environments that, you know, have been their life leading up to that vacation and get away from the hospital settings and just be with their families and enjoy a week of making memories. It is, it's a special place. And I'm, uh, I thank you so much for being a part of this event and supporting the village and, uh, and doing it all out of the kindness of your heart. It's amazing. And I, I really, really appreciate that. And guys, the best way to support, come to the event. Come to the event this weekend. Yes. It's going to be a blast. And everything you do there, everything you spend money on is all going to go right to the village. Um, and you can That's have right. a great time doing it with a bunch of other Disney fans and, uh, and Disney princesses. Uh, it's going uh, to be a fantastic time. Well, I thank you very much, Linda, for your time today. It's been a true honor and a pleasure being able to speak with you. And I look forward to meeting you this weekend. Thank you, Corey, and stay safe. Thank I hope the storm much. is very calm and just passes through gently. Thank you. See you next okay. week. Actually, I'll see weekend. you this Sorry, week. I said yes. next week. Yeah. See you this weekend. Okay. See you this week. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Corey. That was fun. It was uh, really awesome. Such an amazing time being able to speak with, uh, with Linda. Such a sweet, sweet person. Um, we, we've met other Disney princesses. Uh, I've met Paige O'Hara of the Bell and also met um, Jody Benson. And all I can say about all of them is that they, uh, they, they walk the walk and talk the talk. They're, they're just sweet people and uh, all seem uh, truly honored to be in the position that they are, to be able to, to uh, have that kind of that legacy of Disney princess status and, uh, and I think they, they wear that badge proud and it's all, always really cool to hear their stories. Um, many of them, most of them, all started very young. Like these voices that they did for the princesses were all when they were very young. Um, so you think about how they, they started by, you know, getting these jobs very early on. And that's why I wanted to talk to, to Linda about that, how it, how it kind of changed and kind of kick-started their career from there. And this many years later, you think about... Um, how how cool that is disney legend status now and now um everyone knows who jasmine is it's it's so cool and uh, i really really was uh happy to have that opportunity so thank you to give kids a world for for setting that up and giving me the opportunity to talk to linda and i was happy we could share um the share the information about discon as well um so like we said there is a uh, a discount code let me flip over here so if you have not uh, already bought tickets and you're interested in coming to DizCon, make sure you use this coupon code, Corey50, and it'll save you 50% off. So that's on, you can use this on the actual convention passes, and you can use this for the, the After Hours Party. So if you want to come to the After Hours Party at Epcot, really cool. It is on October 1st. It will be on Saturday night, October 1st, which is the 40th anniversary of Epcot. So you can come on the 40th anniversary after hours in the evening. There's gonna be dessert, there's gonna be Disney characters, there's gonna be, like I said, that whole portion of, of Epcot with, uh, it'll be Test Track, Mission Space, and Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind all open as part of the party. Um, so come and do it, I mean, it's, it's very affordable. <laughs> when you when you get the 50 percent off it's uh it's it's a, a steal so make sure come and join us again the weather in orlando is going to be um iffy at best for the next uh, couple days here but by the weekend it will be beautiful we've gone through many storms here in central florida many hurricanes 
And uh, the one thing that you could be certain of is that they pull all the bad weather out and you're left with like this beautiful blue sky after. I remember so many times growing up that we'd have these storms. And for some reason, these storms always come at nighttime. And so uh, overnight, the branches everywhere. And then you go out in the morning and everything is all all nice and uh, nice blue skies. And then you just clean up all the mess. Uh, but it's going to be a rough one for some people here in Central Florida, especially those over on the West Coast and maybe even further south um, on the West Coast. And um, our thoughts and prayers for all of them. The, there's going to be a lot of rain, a lot of rain all across the state here. When you look at some of the estimates for the amount of rainfall, it's almost unbelievable. So I expect uh, buckets of rain for the next couple days um, as we hang out here at the house. So of course, no stream on Thursday night this week. Um, if you do live in the area here in Central Florida, stay safe. If your vacation got messed up because of the storm and you're not making it in, um, hang in there. I know that's probably tough too because you were so looking forward to it and uh, and you may have to delay it. Um, but of course, everything happens for a uh, happens for a reason. So hopefully you'll make it back here soon and be able to come come on your trip. But that's it for me guys. I just wanted to hop on and share that interview with you and uh, and say hi, check in for the week. And we'll see you uh, uh, next week with no stream this week. Well, there might be a stream, but it'll be kind of flowing down the street. It won't be here. Uh, but thank you all so much for joining us. Sorry, I keep looking down, but I had to close some stuff on the screen, so got chat, chat up. I'm glad you guys tuned in tonight and, uh, and enjoyed the interview. So thank you so much. I hope you guys all have a fantastic week. Stay safe. Take care of your families and uh, we'll see you next time. I think, um, oh yeah, there it is. This is the ending music. I haven't done one of these home streams in a while. I don't even quite remember how to do it. But don't forget, Discon 50. 50. Now get your 50% off. Right down in the chat. Actually, in the description. <laughs> Enjoy your night, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. No, we're not leaving yet. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're packing up. Wait. In the in the end music. I'll bring in that music. There we go. <laughs> like right as I'm leaving and everyone's gone now. But maybe if you're watching this on the replay and you didn't close down the stream when I told you I was leaving, then maybe you're still here. And if you are, I can remind you about the auction as part of DiscCon. Uh, thank you, Donna, for reminding me. I saw it literally, I saw it too late. But there is an auction um, right now going on. So if you go to givekidstheworld.com 
and go to the Discon page, it is there that you can go and see the auction. So this is all part of the fundraising efforts for Give Kids the World. And uh, there's a lot of items you can bid on, like a lot of cool Disney memorabilia collectibles. There's some really cool like um, like opening day Epcot stuff. There's also some um, some World's Fair collectibles. So some really cool stuff, but also there's some very special experiences. So if you go on the site and look under, um, it's like experiences. There you go. There's some cool stuff there. So a lot of our friends um, doing auctioning off experiences to raise money for Give Kids the World. So we have a two hour private live stream. So this is where you can go and uh, you can bid on it. If you win it, I will do a private stream with you for two hours. So from wherever you are, you pick what park I go to, you pick the rides I ride, and uh, it'll be all just for you. Stream will be locked down to just you and your friends. You choose who watches it, and, uh, and it's all for you. If you happen to be traveling over the next couple months into the parks, and we can set up a tape, um, and you're gonna be here, instead of doing the live stream, I'd be happy to just come hang out with you in the park and ride some rides for a couple hours. So a couple options there to, uh, to choose from based on what works for you um, and gets you an opportunity to, uh, to spend two hours doing something uh, really cool just with me hanging out. So um, that is currently up to, you guys are amazing, uh, $1,313. So, Thank you so much to those of you for being so generous and, and getting that item to so much. Um, but our friends, uh, Donna, D Donner's at Dinners with Donna, she's gonna do an in-person cooking session. And that's currently at $280. So go support Give Kids the World. There's other friends here. We've got uh, Paige Miss Tomorrow is doing a, uh, a lunch at Epcot at Sunshine Seasons. Uh, that's up to the $1,300. Resort TV One, Josh and Jenna, you can join them for Friday Night Live, and that's up to $780. Um, and then a bunch of people from the Diz. So you've got uh, Pete Warner from the Diz is doing a dinner at Flying Fish for two. I think it's for two. Let's see, do I have that right? Yeah, up to two people. It's currently up to $2,730. Pretty awesome. And uh, our friend Panda is doing coffee at Disney Springs. We got Rhino and Danny is doing uh, uh, charcuterie at uh, Baseline Tap House. So, so many cool experiences that you can go bid on and all, all to raise money for Give Kids the World. So go check out the auction. You just go to, uh, to, to Discon on Give Kids the World. I don't think it's discon.com. I tried that. GiveKidsTheWorld.org. It's gktw.org slash discon. Click on auction. That's all you have to do. You can go over and check out all of those uh, all those items. So there you go. I got it, Donna. Donna probably left before I read this and then popped back on but I did it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a fantastic week. Stay safe, and we'll see you uh, next week. Bye-bye.